I was thinking of suggesting magnesium malate or magnesium threonate for a patient that uh, seems to have some kind of gastric upset for when taking magnesium, which I will tell you is a little bit rare. Uh, what do you think? Or is there a different version that might be more gentler on the GI tract? Well, before I answer that, I do want to show you there's a couple. These are mouse studies. I will be very clear. I try to use human studies as much as I possibly can. These are animal trials. Just to show you some of the differences uh, that things are doing, researchers are doing. So here's brain. I'll just show you both brain magnesium and skeletal muscle magnesium. Here they have the type of magnesium as well as the dose. Uh, and you can see, so that first one's malate. This next one is uh, acetyl or acetyl uh, torate. Here's glycinate and here's citrate you know, versus the controls. This was 45 milligrams. This is 135 milligrams. This is 405 milligrams. And all this does, and there's a, there's a few papers using mice, using different types of magnesium to see which ones, you know, might be more bioavailable, uh, you know, it, the higher dose of glycinate here seemed to uh, increase the brain levels higher than it did the muscle level here. Um, on the other hand, this uh, acetyl torate seemed to really, really like the brain, kind of like three and eight would, but they didn't use three and eight. Um, and then citrate, citrate in a dose dependent uh, response elevated both uh, skeletal muscle and brain. There's another paper similarly that they, uh, they gave a, a few different kinds. They gave uh, sulfate, mag sulfate, Here's that acetyl uh, torate again, uh, oxide, citrate, and malate. And they put them these mice through some tests as well, grip strength, which didn't make it onto here. Uh, by the way, you know how they test the mouse's grip strength is they just have it dangle as long as they can before it falls into something bad. <clears throat> it's just horrible. Anyhow, um, but they did uh, uh, a maze and a whole bunch of different things. And then they looked at blood levels, muscle levels, and brain levels. And you can see that, for example, that uh, acetyl threonate was the highest of all the rest when it came to brain levels. Um, however, it was the lowest when it came to muscle. So these do have different impacts on different tissues, at least if you're a mouse. Um, but interestingly, and also that one had the lowest serum or blood levels of it, uh, whereas the rest of them kind of maintained about the same. You can see here that magnesium malate had the most in uh, muscle tissue, uh, and one of the lower ones when it came to brain. So it just depends on where you want it to go, which is why certain formulations that have multiple different kinds of magnesium are helpful. Now, that's not about any kind of gastrointestinal uh, function or distress on taking magnesium, but I do think that some of these things are certainly interesting in this world where we always like to say, well, what kind of magnesium do you like to give? So my thoughts are... When it comes, there's a lot of different kinds. There's magnesium, and this isn't even a complete list. Mag o magnesium oxide, malate, glycinate, bisglycinate, three and eight citrate chloride, other amino acid ch chelates like aspartate and taurate, and I'm probably missing some. My scientific answer is it's trial and error. When it's say truck, because everybody's going to respond differently. Why this woman is not responding to certain magnesium preparations is anybody's guess, really. Um, so it is trial and error. When I say trial and error, it could be the dose. You could try divided doses uh, multiple times throughout the day. Uh, it could be the actual dose, you know, 40 milligrams versus 800 milligrams. It could be the type, which I just showed you above. It could be the preparation. For example, there's capsules, tablets, powders, liquid. Um, if it were me, based on what I've read, is, uh, and I get nothing for, nor do I, you know, think allergy research is the best company anywhere. They're very interesting. They have a li liquid magnesium that's magnesium chloride. Uh, it, magnesium chloride seems to be cause less gastrointestinal issues than other ones. It's in a liquid form. So if it were me and she's having a hard time, I would try that. It does have some potassium sorbate in there, which uh, some people will gasp and say, you know, well, how could you put a preservative in there? Well, it's going to go bad otherwise. So if this woman needs magnesium, it's what I would try. And if it worked, then we could try to, you know, incorporate other types of magnesium chloride. Uh, and that's just what I would do. So 